everyone welcome back to my channel here i help you to prepare for the automation testing interview with a company wise real time interview question with detailed explanation in today's video we will be discussing the interview question asked in the infosys along with how to answer them confidently so let's start today's session with the infosys interview question so guys uh, this is the part 3 of our infosys interview question series in part 1 part 2 i have already discussed the important and real time automation testing question so if you miss part 1 part 2 please check them out from the video section so guys our uh, today's first question is collection concept and its implementation in your script uh, <clears throat> you all know guys in java collections are reusable data structure uh, that help to store access and manipulate the groups of object and in automations collections are heavily used for handling multiple web elements and managing the test data guys collections means it is a reusable data structure that help to that help to store access and the manipulations group of the object and in uh, our automations we use collections to handle multiple web elements and managing the test data multiple test data or multiple web elements so first is a list list is a first is the list is the interface and uh, we uh, list toward order elements and allow duplicate which is useful when we want to maintain the same sequence of the web element list toward order element and it allow the duplicates which is useful when we want to maintain the same sequence of web element so uh, for example in selenium script we use array list to store all link on the page all drop down options or row of table all check boxes or radio button and uh, dynamic web elements so for example while validating the menu items we store them in the array list uh such me guys okay we store them the array list and iterate to verify text and the quick the functionality means uh, to uh, to fetch the all link on the web page or to fetch all the drop down option we use the list interface means array list in our selenium script second is a set set is use when we need unique value and want to element eliminates the duplicate so we use hash set to remove the duplicates product name like duplicate links and duplicate error message from a page uh, as a consider in e commerce module sometime the same product name appeared multiple time so we have to store all product name in hash set to get only the unique value this is a example of hash set drop down link all link list Uh, link value list value drop down options value or all the mm, uh, row of table all check boxes takes this is the example of array list uh, hash set means a uh, hash set example like uh, uh, we have to print uh, duplicate links or we have to uh, remove the product name pro duplicate product duplicate links or duplicate error message that time we use the hash set and a hash map map stored the data key value in the pair and this is very useful for automations for dynamic test data like storing logging credentials storing api header parameterizing data in framework or storing environmental configurations like uh, like this email configuration password so your url we can show the url so as a map example in our hybrid framework we use hash map to store the test data like username password and expected message so this made the script cleaner and the data driven <coughs> so we use list to handling the web element drop down and the table value we use set to removing the duplicate we use map to store the test data and object repository we use array list to maintaining iteration order and we use hash map to storing the key value pair for use data and the uh, environmental configuration so uh, as a real world scenario uh, um, like uh, in a uh, in one of uh, modules we had to validate all links on the web page that are unique and not broken means scenario is we had to validate the all links on the page and which are unique and not broken so for that we use list to capture all link we use set to remove the duplicate because we we have to validate the all links on the pages which are unique so to get all links we use the list or list to to uh, get the unique elements we use the set and uh, 
least plus set combination to compare count before and after and then pass each link to method to verify data status course means by doing this we get a not broken link so this is our real time scenario so i hope guys you understood this concept that uh, where you use your uh, collections concept in your automation project so yes we use array list uh we use array list to me sorry we use array list to maintaining iteration order we use list to handling web element we use set to removing duplicate we use hash map to storing key value pair for user data and environmental configurations and we use map to store the test data and the object repository so guys i hope you guys you understood this question now moving to the next question so guys before moving to the next questions i have created one pdf which contain 5000 plus interview questions and answer Uh, all these five thousand questions I have gathered from the different different platforms like LinkedIn, Telegram, uh, WhatsApp, Communities, and other testing platform, testing blog, and I have tried to provide it's all five thousand questions answered in very detail, like uh, definitions, real time example, Java coding, how to explain in the interview with a star method without star method. I have also included it's a. Uh, uh, A real time example or a projects project related example, and these five thousand questions uh, contain like Selenium question, manual question, project, Java uh, question, API REST assured question, uh, then the Git, Jenkins, Jira, Agile methodology question. Recently, I have added two fifty plus Java program, uh, and I have explained all these program in very detail line by line. I have explained this question with the easily understand logic. I have also included five hundred plus output uh, output based Java questions like uh, interview gives a uh, two or one program, and you have to find out its output whether it is its output whether uh, the its uh, output is exceptions or any other answer. Uh, i have included this type of questions and this 5000 question 5 plus 500 plus output output based java question i have added and uh, with the i have also given its explanation to uh also i have included step by step bdd pro, uh, bdd cucumber framework creation hybrid framework and i have also included a manual testing uh, project with a complete documentations uh like uh, for the banking and the e-commerce domain and uh, this manual testing project include 100 plus test scenario 100 plus test cases srs brn and rtm documents sql api validation also i have included bug report and executions report i also included 100 plus behavior or real time scenario based interview questions and by this you can uh, by reading this 100 plus questions you can give any questions answer in your uh, interview and the notes has a lifetime access and free future update it is beneficial for one to eight year ex experience or anyone any manual test they are planning to switch automations uh and uh, guys uh, i also included a uh, project explanations for the uh, project explanations for insurance domain banking domain healthcare domain and the e-commerce domain so if you want these notes i am giving the notes link in the comment box and the description box so please go through this link and uh, take a uh, notes now moving to the next questions and the next question is different between the list and the set so a uh, list means it is a order collections of element it allow duplicate value and it access using index from an index start from the 0 1 2 3 like that set means it is an ordered collections and this does not allow duplicate and no index based access so difference is a list is a order uh, order based collections of element set does not allow set is a an order collections list allow duplicate value set does not allow duplicate value and uh, list access element using we can access element using index but no index based access in the set um interview friendly one liner answer like list is a order plus duplicate allowed plus index based and it here it is unique element only no index based uh, accessing and the order not guaranteed real life example as you can see on the screen so please read guide this is a java coding example i have included in and its output is a puja neha puja because i have here i have used the list concept now uh it is a duplicate allow so puja will print uh twice but in the set duplicate not allow so here print only the puja and neha order behavior means list maintain insertion order and index based access but set no guarantee order in the hash mate because set uh set does not maintain any insertion order <coughs> 
but in the set interface there is a classes like e link has set and the tree set so link has set maintain order and tree set is a sorts element now another question is when to use what means when to use list when to use set so we use list when we need duplicate we have to uh, we needs uh, we matters order and we have we need a index accent that time we use a list interface and when we want unique element and we want to remove the duplicates that time we use the set and performance this is a one more uh, difference between the list and set like that duplicate allow duplicate not allow order it maintain order it does not maintain the order uh, list is a index based and set is not index based performance wise uh, list is a slow for the searching operation and set is a fast is implementation like array list linked list and set is interface implementation implementation is a has set link has set and the tree set set does not maintain the order but one is a uh, link has set maintain the order this is all about the different between the list and the set and guys in the pdf i have explained all uh, all answers like that means you will get all the data in a at a at a one place like that now moving to the next question and the next question is the difference between the hash map and the hash table so hash map stored the data in the key value pair and hash table stored the data also key value pair but hash map is not synchronized and the hash table is a synchronized hash table allow one null key with a multiple null value hash map allow one null key with a multiple null value and hash table does not allow null key or null value it is a big difference between the hash map and the hash table so hash map is a fast it allow null hash table is a slow and it it is it no, it not allow the null <coughs> hash map means it uh, it is like a open cupboard means anyone can access it simultaneously but hash table is a cupboard with a lock like a only one person can access at a time one more hash map and hash table is different means hash map hash table both store the key value pair but hash map is a synchronized hash tab table does not synchronize hash table allow one null key with a multiple null value hash table not allow the null key or the null value this is a java coding example for the hash map this is a java coding example for the hash table indexing and internal working both use hashing like store element in buckets and work on the hash code and equal logic but hash table lock the entire collections like a blocking performance difference uh, hash table is not thread safe hash table is a thread safe synchronization is allowed in the hash table but not allowed in the hash table speed wise hash map is faster null key is allowed in the hash, hash map null value is also allowed in the hash map uh, iteration uh, in the hash map we use iterator and in hash table we use enumerator now the other question is which one should we use in the real project so guys we 99% the of the cases we use hash map because modern application handle concurrency using concurrency hash map and which is not in the hash table so hash currently hash uh, table is outdated and uh, rarely used real time scenario if the interviewer asks so hash map uses in the framework when we have to store the configuration or environmental detail like url ap uh, applications uh, uh, username and application password that type we use the map or hash map concept storing key value data for data driven testing like that like uh, you can store dynamic runtime uh, value and use them later but in hash table hash table is rarely used in the selenium uh, because it causes a more error short interviewer access means uh, how you should uh, answers of this question in your interview so you have to stay like that in java both java hash map and hash table store the data in key value form but hash map is a non synchronized faster and allow null key value so we use in the automation framework hash table is synchronized thread safe slower does not allow null value so in real project i mostly use hash map for storing the test data configuration and the dynamic value so guys i have explained this question in very detail and still you have any queries like both questions like different between set and the list and the different between hash map and hash table so you can comment down in the comment box and i have provide 
all 5000 questions answered in this pattern so if you want this notes good i am giving the notes link in the description box now moving to the next question and the next question is have you handled a team and what size your team so guys it is open question for you so um uh, you can uh, comment comment down its answer in the comment box or you can uh, uh you can email me on my um, email and i am giving my email in the description box so it is a open question for you so guys please answer this question in the comment box now the next question is commit and the post difference uh this question is related related to the git so in this question we have to tell the difference between the commit and push so uh, what is commit what is commit commit means we uh, saving your changes locally in your git repository means when we use commit me it save the changes locally in your git repository so machine only not a github or gitlab it changes save only the machine it's like clicking the save in your project other cannot see your changes after commit and each commit has a message describing the changes like git add and git commit like a freeze it is a message git add means we have added our project to the local machine and git commit means this is a message then uh, what is push so sending your committed changes a sending your committed changes from local to remote repository means github gitlab git commit means this changes save in the local machine and git push means this changes save in the local to remote repository means update on the central remote repository other team member can now see the changes and require it required the internet connection so uh, it's code like git push origin main one line interview answer like commit save changes locally while push send those commit changes to the remote repository for everyone to access as a real time example commits means writing in your notebook changes save within your only this is a real, a real life example and push means sharing the notebook with your team means everyone can see the update because commit changes locally push changes the remote repository in interview we have to tell like that i commit changes frequently to maintain local versions and the one my code is stable state state i push it to the remote repository remote repository so that my team member can pull and continue their work now other question is when to use commit and when to use push so we use commit when our code is ready or bug is fixed and you, we want to save our progress and we use push when we want to save we want to share our changes to our team member we have to merge requests to be created and we have to task is uh, we have to set like task is completed now other commonly questions that you uh, face regarding this commit and push like if you commit but don't push what happen and uh, this is a short answer you can tell uh, in the your interview when you have uh, went uh, you you have a pressure or when you have a one year experience so guys this is a part three uh, for the infosys interview questions and i have explained all this question in very detail and uh, my answers my pdf answer structure is uh, like this and uh, this pdf content 5000 plus interview question uh and uh, this like uh, i recently have added 300 plus java program 500 plus output based question uh this uh, 5000 question and content 1000 plus selenium 1000 plus java uh 700 plus manual testing question git rest assured you will get all uh, automations interview questions in a, in this pdf this pdf also include manual testing with a complete documentation which include 100 plus test scenario 100 plus test cases documentation like srs brr rmd sql validation api validation bug report executions report i have all included in this pdf automation framework like uh, i have created two PD, uh, two project like bdd cucumber and hybrid framework project this pdf also contain 100 uh, plus behavior behavior or the real time scenario based interview question with a star and non star method and by reading all these 100 question you can give any uh, real time scenario answers uh, in your interview and uh, this uh, is for the uh, this is beneficial for 1 to 8 year experience tester and who the manual tester who is planning to switch your automation so if you want this notes i am giving the notes link in the description box and the comment box and uh, if you found this video helpful so don't forget to like the video share it with your friends and if you uh, like my content so do like share and comment 
<coughs> and share with your needy friend and uh, subscribe for my channel for a real time interview questions explanation or selenium java manual testing api ajay till then keep learning and keep testing thank you for watching once again thank you so much